Today we're doing a Dijon crusted steelhead with a beautiful Spanish tomato sauce called sofrito. We want to get the sofrito pan on high and start heating our cast iron up just on low. We're going to start our sofrito first because we want the sauce to stew for the time that the steelhead is being crusted and cooked. We're just going to put about a tablespoon of olive oil into the sofrito pan. And I have here a mixture of yellow onion, red pepper, and fresh garlic. So we want to get those into the pan and get them sizzling. Season with some salt and pepper. We just want to sweat the vegetables. Just start getting them cooked. Let's go over to our steelhead here. I have the Dijon, some fresh breadcrumbs, and the steelhead cut into fillets. All we want to do is start coating our fish with the Dijon. Just really get them evenly coated for the breadcrumbs to adhere and form that crust that we're looking for for the final product on this fish. Our steelhead has the Dijon on it now. Before we go to the next step of that, I need to toss these vegetables and we are going to deglaze the pan with some red wine. I have a little Pinot Noir here. You can use whatever you want, whatever you have in the cabinet at home. Just about a third of a cup and a little chicken stock as well. I'm gonna re-season a little bit, just with salt. Squeeze a little lemon into it. Add some parsley to the sauce as well. And that right there is really the standard sofrito sauce once we get the tomato into it. So we want the red wine and the chicken stock to reduce down just a little bit more. While that's reducing, I'm going to crust our steelhead now. Just season with a little salt. Pre-made Dijon already has some seasoning in it and it's got that vinegar and it's got a little salt, so you don't need too much seasoning. Just lightly lay it in there. Press a little bit, flip it over, do the same, and press. You'll just get a nice light coating. Last one. I've cut the filet evenly into three pieces, so they'll cook evenly and take the same amount of time, so you won't have to fuss around with pulling one out early or late. What we're gonna do now is add our tomato to the sofrito, and it's just one can of stewed pureed tomato. We wanna just lightly re-season. It's important with sauces to season in layers. So every time you add a new ingredient that's not seasoned, you wanna season again. We are going to use some vegetable oil just to sear one side of the fish. We want to heat the oil hot enough to hear it sizzle when we're laying the fish in. So that's perfect right there. We're going to get all three of these in. Make sure not to overcrowd the pan when you're cooking like this. By overcrowding, I mean make sure that each piece has about three quarter of an inch to an inch in between to give it even space to cook. You know it's ready to flip when it's not sticking to the pan any longer. If you can shift it around, then you're good to go. So just kind of help it along, get it flipped over. Same rule of thumb when you have them flipped is make sure they're not touching. You still don't want to overcrowd it. It doesn't matter which side it's on. Now these are ready to go into the oven. Before we do that, we just want to put a little dollop of butter in there, which is going to help brown the other side and just add some nice flavor. And now we're gonna go right into the oven. 450 degrees for about 10, 12 minutes. The sauce is done, I'm gonna turn it off. We're gonna take two of these fillets, just a little torn, fresh Italian parsley. And here we have our Dijon crusted steelhead with tomato sofrito. For this recipe and more from The Sizzle, visit fishingclub.com slash sizzle.